and Drug Administration announced a huge medical treatment could possibly cure sickle cell disease. And it could change the lives of millions of people all over the world. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens is covering this for, to, uh, for us today, and she's joining us now live from the Sickle Cell Foundation of Georgia headquarters. Latasha, this is giving many patients and their families hope tonight. That's right. Good evening, Jennifer and Savannah. Advocates I talked to say they've waited for this day for decades, especially those who've been watching every phase of those clinical trials. And I talked to a patient today who says this is life changing. When I was growing up, I could only hope for something like this because it would have changed the entire course of my life. Blaze Eppinger has spent many years of his life hospitalized, not knowing if he would make it back home after some visit. And he gave up his dream of serving in the military and law enforcement because the disease can be debilitating at times. But now new hope is on the horizon as the FDA announces its approval for a new gene editing treatment that could cure sickle cell disease. I live with a lot of chronic blood transfusions, more hospitalizations than I can remember. So it's exciting to see something that could possibly change the lives of so many people living with sickle cell. Casjevi is a cell-based gene therapy that essentially edits a patient's DNA. That new cellular structure could in turn cure sickle cell once and for all. The FDA's approval right now is for patients 12 years and older. So after many, many, many um, decades, we are finally here. We have a cure for sickle cell disease. Tabitha McGee, the executive director for the Sickle Cell Foundation of Georgia, says this opens the door for many possibilities. And it provides hope for the sickle cell community. Many young adults don't feel that they're going to live a very long time anyway. But now it gives them the opportunity to say, OK, we may be able to live much longer because there is finally a cure. McGee also says there are three main concerns right now. First, the potential side effects that still have to be determined. Second, according to NBC News, the treatment could cost around $2 million per patient. And third, the accessibility for receiving the treatment. McGee also says this victory isn't just for sickle cell patients. It's now there, there's an open gate. So for other therapies to come available, there's many other diseases that will be able to be treated with gene editing technology. According to a press release from Vertex and CRISPR Therapeutics, those are the companies behind the treatment. Right now, there are nine hospitals in the U.S. who are ready to treat patients. Now, the closest one to Georgia is Children's Hospital in Nashville, Tennessee. Back to you. All right, Latasha, some hopeful information for us tonight.